I do the crack. Okay. Put those over there because those are going to be second. Let's go ahead and get our, we'll go get a bowl ready for our crack. We need a crack bowl. Where's my crack bowl, kids? Kenny doesn't have a crack bowl yet. Hopefully I get a notification tonight because Josh was on my channel earlier. If not, I'm going to have to ban him from here on out. It's just, you know, it's not good. Yay, kitties. Okay, well, currently there's no one in here, but if people eventually will probably make their way in as they see me live. And it is Friday night. So... We are having cracked chicken. This actually looks really good. This is actually a keto cracked chicken. So if I follow the recipe exactly, this is supposed to be a keto recipe. It's bursting with flavor. Tender and juicy chicken with crumbles of bacon and, of course, cream cheese and mozzarella for that cheesy twist. This is one incredible chicken recipe. Oh, hell yeah, it is. It's going to be incredible. Okay. So. So, 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 um, so we got our chicken tenders over here. So let's go ahead and do our chicken tenders. Um, these are just your, these are skinny chickens, but these are all natural boneless, skinless breast tenderloins, about $7. Hello, we're making crack chicken. Crack chicken. This is actually keto crack chicken at that. Kenny's going to attempt to try to eat a little better since he's taking this new drug, so... I'm not going like full blown keto, but I'm trying to like do different things that aren't as carby. But so this is a first test. It's a first test. So we're gonna go ahead and get these in our pan. Hi, low roller. We're gonna get these in our pan. And then we're gonna make the crack to put on top. And then we're also doing a air fried cauliflower as well. As long as Carl's not using the air fryer. But that's okay, though. We got, like, 30 minutes. I'll beat him to it. <laughs> You'll be over for dinner? All right, let's go. I said I'm going to follow this recipe pretty much to the T. So, you playing skill game tonight. Well, low roller, it's Friday night. What do we usually do on Friday nights? Do we play skill game Friday nights? Yes, I know I wasn't here Thursday. But, no, we're not playing skill game tonight. Oh, this has got the little vein thingy that sticks out. Those aren't bad once they get cooked, but they just gross me out all the time. They gross me out. This pan will actually probably be perfect for these chicken tenders. I don't think I got a notification because Josh went live earlier. That bastard. I have to cut him off from Fridays. You doing the jackpot? I am not. Have I ever done jackpot TV? Well, we're really asking all the questions. All of them. Okay, so we got our hands, hands off of the chicken. My oven has been preheated to 400 degrees. Oh, yeah, 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 it's Friday night. I figure eventually people will come over here once they see that I'm live. It's a good time. So, now, we have to do spread, sprinkle remaining cheese, scallions, and bacon. Oh, okay. So they do half. Ah, uh, no, the roller it will, but yeah. So, we've got eight ounces of cream cheese, which is here is his softened cream cheese. I have microwaved this to get her a little soft. Hi, uh, Ben. So, let's go ahead and put our cream cheese in a bowl. We're going to make our crack. So, ba -da. Why don't you have toilet paper in KFC restaurants? Why? Do I don't know. That's a good question. Very good question. Um, okay, so now we have a scallion. These are actually like the whole pack of scallions. You get like, I forget how many, but it says do half now and half later. So I put that in there. We'll leave a little extra in there. You're supposed to put the rest on top then. But this is going to go in the original crack mix. A burger, yeah, that sounds good. Um, bacon bits, which again, we can't go shy on the bacon bits. You can pretty much use as much bacon bits as you want, but 
We're just gonna go ahead and put some bacon on. Lots of bacon, you need lots of bacon. Absolutely. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. And then this actually calls for eight ounces of cheese, but this is where I can follow the recipe, but I can bend it a little bit if I really want to. So we're just going to guesstimate on that. And then it would like me to use a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion salt. So we've got onion powder. That's Kenny's teaspoon for that. That's probably way more than a teaspoon. Garlic powder. What's up, Brian? Yeah, I know. Papa Josh stole my notifications today. Bastard. And as well, this stuff's expensive. This, this freaking dill weed's $5. It's expensive. So we're going to see what the dill weed does to the crack. Put a little dill weed in there. Um, and that actually calls for a tablespoon of salt. So we're going to woo, maybe. I just knocked this on the floor earlier. It had salt all over the place. I don't want to do that. Let's get you over there. Hello, OP. Okay. So that's a good eyeball on the seasoning. You can kind of eyeball it, you know. No, watch Brian Zimmerman. He already did that. So this is our initial crack. So again, so what's in here if you're just joining us? There is cream cheese, scallions, bacon bits, and seasonings. Okay. So, and over here we've got our chicken tenders. You can do this with chicken breast. The actual recipe they they like chicken tenders. I like chicken tenders too. It's less cutting. So we're gonna go ahead and get this out here. Yeah, I know. Brian Zimmerman did join the food review. That was actually pretty cool what he did. Okay, so let's get the crack up here. <laughs> Spread the crack evenly over top of our chicken to the best of our abilities. I think we got a little bit much more crack over here than over there. So let's... We need more crack. More crack. Actually, you probably could use some more cream cheese. Actually, hold on, let me get another spoon. That's okay, we'll make it work. We'll put more cheese on there too, so. More ingredients. Hey, it's the princess. Yeah, we're not getting any notifications tonight. So thanks for popping on. Okay, so we got our crack on our chicken. What is on the bottom of the pan? Chicken tenders. There are sliced chicken tenders. Raw, they're not cooked yet. We'll be cooking them shortly. Okay, so then we are to put the rest of the scallions over top. More scallions, the better. You can cut them to your likings. Um, more cheese. Thanks, Low Roller, for letting me know. Low Roller's like the, the skill video, like, man. Oh. Then, more, more, more bacon. Over top, we can never have enough bacon, little bacon. We're not going to go crazy. Well, we are going to go crazy, but not totally crazy. But okay, so the oven has been preheating. I preheated the oven about a half hour ago. So this is going to bake for 30 minutes until the chicken is 160 degrees. If you all remember, I don't know what I did with my meat thermometer, so we're going with it. We're going to make sure she's in there for a long time, which is why I wanted to preheat the oven. No, I want to go 400. So we're going to go do this for 30 minutes, and then we're going to work on our cauliflower, which I probably should have bought more cauliflower, but it'll work. It'll work. I forgot. I, I knew I saw the bag in there, and I'm like, all right, we'll try it. 
Because again, I'm trying to eat things that are a little less carb heavy because I'm, I don't know how my new clinical trial drug is going to affect me. I know the placebo made me gain a sh ton of weight, not a ton, but you know, enough weight. So I'm trying to, I'm going to attempt to slowly but surely, I'm not going like full blown keto or anything like that, but just making small changes just to see what I can mix it up a little bit. You know, I don't want to look Ethiopian or anything. So, okay. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and put this bad boy in the oven. And let her cook for like a half hour. Actually, I asked my endocrinologist that, and he said the, the dose that I'm on shouldn't have caused that much weight gain. So, he's, he's blaming the actual trial. So, I don't know. Even a placebo, but yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna do some air fried cauliflower. So this cauliflower is a steam in cauliflower. I've already steamed it to pretty much get it done done. I didn't want it too watery, but we're just gonna season her up, season her up well, and then we're gonna put them in the air fryer. I've, actually, I've never actually done this before. I heard that they're actually really good. So again, we got more garlic powder and onion powder. We're just gonna make sure these are well seasoned. I like a well seasoned cauliflower. Whoa, holy crap, that's a lot of onion. <laughs> you could do buffalo cauliflower, yeah. If I had actually had the sauce, that would be good. Uh, yeah, I know that was a lot of whatever I just put on there, Joe. <laughs> What's going on here? What's up, Joe? Well, I got my cracked chicken in the oven, and now I'm seasoning my um, cauliflower. And we're gonna do some air fried cauliflower. We're gonna mix this around a little bit so it's not so freaking whatever just went in there. I don't know if that was the onion or the garlic, but. <laughs> we ain't playing games. We want it to be well seasoned. Right, little it smells amazing though. Yeah, fancy. I know you only have three more days to wear white bitches. Okay, so now we're gonna go to throw these in the air fryer. I have no idea how long, but I don't know if I can do all of it. But we're gonna give it a ghost key. So let's get the air fryer over there. I think, I think. Oh yeah, we can put it all in there. We can do it all in there. We'll put it in there for a little while and see how they go. See how them babies go. What's up, C. Gibbs? So we got our cauliflowers. Turn on. Boss is biscuit, so if they wanted a few tickets, someone of them will have some. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna put that bad boy at 400 and we're just gonna shake him around a little bit. But yeah, so now we wait. We've got about 26 minutes on the cracked chicken. So the cracked chicken is in there. Forgive me, I have not shaved since like freaking Saturday, I think. I just, yeah. By the time I got home last night, I just crashed. I apologize, but I'll clean this up tomorrow. I look like a mountain man. It's a mountain man. Okay, so we're gonna see how this cauliflower does in there. Good uh, stuffing, okay. So, yeah. But she really didn't miss a big shopping trip. Um, I literally went and bought fish and the stuff to make this recipe. I figure I got a long weekend so I can go some other time to get some more stuff. But we now are the owners of dillweed, everybody. This stuff's $5. And like, I looked at there are several different kinds. There's dillweed and dill seed. The Spice Hunter was about as cheap as I could find. And you know how they have those like cheap, like 10 for 10 spices, like dollar, whatever the heck the name of the brand is. You know, the stuff that's been around forever. My parents used to use it. They didn't have that anymore. It's like, what the hell? The kitties have been pet Ben. Ollie's over there crashed on my chair, which we're gonna sit over there and we do on my casino. So for the whole night casino tonight, I decided to go back to Wind Creek only because I really can't pass up their match offer just in case we would hit something cool and we get to play a lot longer. So since they match, I know I need to go like Dollar Tree. That's where they have those spices at. But I was at Wise and, but yeah, so like they do the 100% match. You have to play through five times, which usually isn't a problem. So I put, I only put in 35 bucks. So they give me 70, so 
I'm like, okay, while they do that, I'm like, yeah, you, I really can't pass that up compared to uh, the other casinos, so. Gorilla Kingdom, does it? We'll have to go check that out then. I don't think, I thought about going to Hollywood, but I was like, eh. And I had it set up, I actually had extra cash left since I came back from Boston, I was gonna go and just deposit cash into one of them, but. Ah, okay, so it's called Buffalo Gold. You did your burger medium well, nice. Okay, we're gonna take these. We're not gonna let our cauliflower go well, go too long because we don't want to burn it. But do you want me to send you thirty five so we can get one forty? I don't think I can because I already did the deposit. I think you can only do one deposit. I guess I should have got a hold of you first, instant princess. And no, it's not because I don't want your money. I just didn't think about it. <laughs> And this is the first time in all of it, I think this has been out forever, this Coca-Cola Orange Vanilla. I got some of this on the way home yesterday from Boston. That was pretty freaking good. It's smooth. It's got that orange kick at the end. Put a nice orange slice in there, oh yeah. Oh yeah. But if I actually do win anything, I'm gonna actually have to like, give them my um like information so i can cash out but if anything i'll just keep it in there it's fun to play they don't have the baby games and stuff but that's okay okay we're gonna keep this out for the cauliflower it is coke orange coke yeah like orange yeah because that's got vanilla 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 how do you do vanilla but that orange that is good yeah and I like the cinnamon Coke too. Do they still have that? Or is that like a holiday thing? I think that was around a while. I'm almost out of soda, which I know soda is bad for you too, but again, I'm making small steps in changing my diet, so small. First is dinner. I haven't figured out what I'm doing for lunch and breakfast yet. I think I have some ideas for lunch and breakfast, what I used to eat, which again, I'm just trying to cut a lot of the extra, like I don't need peanut butter cups. Um, uh, the chicken nuggets, but the chicken nuggets though, but on occasion, maybe once a week, not two. Oh, I know, yeah, that's the thing. A lot of those, you have to buy those. You have to buy the whole freaking six, 12 pack. <sighs> but yeah, how much? I didn't even do the conversion. How fat am I? They told me I weighed 100 kilograms. Isn't that like 230-ish? It's freaking, I know, you're like, where does it all go? Yeah, I didn't even do the conversion. I'm like, I know I'm fat. So I'm fatter than I used to be. <laughs> yeah. They actually said they had a guy on the trial who was 6'5". Only chicky nuggets like once a week. One pound equals 2.2 kilos. Okay. Yeah, whoa, shoot. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> well, not a ton, but yeah. We're perfect. We, we need chicken nuggets, but yeah. <laughs> For a kosher present. No, that's, yeah, exactly, Joe. That's where the freaking cushion's at. That's pretty much where it all went. And, like, I asked them, yeah, because they had a guy, he, he's like 6'5 and like 230 pounds. And the trial was actually balking at it, thinking that he was like obese. And I'm like, holy crap, I'm like, they haven't made comments about my weight yet. I'm like, they might kick me off. But I'm like, your drug is pretty much what made me fat. Save the nuggets. But, like, instead of having nuggets two nights a week, we'll just have nuggets one night a week. And maybe just a six-piece, not double six-pieces. Like, just a taste. You know, it's just about that. You got to have everything in moderation. You can, you can have everything in moderation. All right. Let's go see how these um, collies are doing. They, I know you guys laughed at how much seasoning I put in there. It's just going to be really salty, but it smells awesome. It's not quite done yet. We're going to let them in there a little bit longer. We could make our own healthy chicken nuggets. We just gotta get some more of that sauce. I was bummed because the restaurant that we go to, usually at the hotel has these amazing like Asian wings. Yeah, they were closed. It is, it is big boned. I was big boned, yeah. Now. Nah. <sighs> but it's, it's, yeah. 
And you have to haul that extra baggage around with you, which it's, you know, walking can be difficult as it is. So it's good to have just a little extra baggage. But they don't want you to lose a ton of weight because AMN and like ALD, like if you start to like go the other direction, you'll start to automatically lose weight. Like my brother, he was super frail um, when he started going downhill. So they, they, they don't want you to go too crazy, which is what I told the girl. I'm like, I don't want to like sigh the trial, but if this trial is going to go in for years to come, you know, I'm going to do what I'm going to do, you know. Like, I'll be your guinea pig for your free travel and free trips to Boston to go to the casino. Which I get to go back in a month, so yeah. But, and I get my home nurse to come back. Hopefully I get the same one as I got before, but. You want to keep building, my, yeah, you keep muscle mass, yeah. Whatever muscle mass I got. Although the neuropsych guy, I think he was the, yeah, he's like a neuro, neuromuscular guy. He's the one who does the actual, like, psych review. Like, he was, he said my upper body's good. So I'm like, yeah, damn right it is, brother. What's going on, James? We've got cracked chicken and air fried cauliflower. Cracked chicken's got approximately 20 minutes to go, and the cauliflower will be up here probably in just a minute or two. And you get to see what the final results. You play skill games early this afternoon. No, I do not. I got off of work at two. I came home. I took a nap. Um, yeah, I took a nap. I took a shower. I cleaned the bathroom up a little bit. I did not do anything this afternoon. It is a specialty. No, I told that OP. Pretty much he told me if it happens again to take more drugs. He really didn't have a... He didn't know for certain, but... So, that was interesting. <laughs> and did you see I posted on Facebook? I did get a letter from him. Pretty much the levels is normal because it's just part of being elevated. Apparently it can fluctuate. So, you go pop store, look for your bonus every day. I do not, though, really no. What's crack chicken? You're going to find out here momentarily, James. It's crack. Crack, I tell you, crack. Ooh, our cauliflower is starting to get a little crunch to it. I want a crunch on my cauliflower. Sugar. Sugar, sugar. If my one friend isn't able to help soon enough, then I need to find another from my resume to look at. Oh, I won't be your guy to look at your resume, but. Again, I haven't done a resume in like 18 years, so I, yeah. Actually, I had to do another one right when my company was almost like going kaput and then they got bought out. The new owner actually needed my resume for the bank, but I think I had my old one, so I just used that one. That was uh, many years ago at this point. But yeah, how's everybody doing? Labor Day? Anybody do anything for Labor Day? Anybody going away for Labor Day? They said the travel's really down for Labor Day. Josh is trying to get me to go to Atlantic City to go to the Seven Stars Lounge, which only has a 25% capacity. So I'm like, I'm still, no, I'm still torn, you know, but you're going to AC on Monday? He wants me to go on Sunday. I don't, low roller, no. But I'm like, ugh, like, yeah. Working out nice. It might have me scratching myself, yeah. Go have fun. It, it's still not the same, Nora, though. I'm like, it's not the same, and I have to see. Here's my, not a predicament, but, so we're looking to do Wheeling Pittsburgh next month, which I still just set up that. I just got all the blood work done, which will cost about $2,500, in which I have to pay a grand of that. So I got to come up with that. I have to do that. I mean, I have it. I just have to spend it. When I could gamble it, which would be fun. I was hoping I'd get away with this year with not, but... So I have that to do. And then Vegas and Reno, which, again, I was supposed to go to Kansas City and Biloxi this week, but that didn't fell through. So I kind of moved that money around in my budget, but... It's just like, until Atlantic City, I understand, yes, they have indoor dining, but everything's 25% capacity, so if you want to go anywhere, there's probably a line. They said you can drink on the floor, but it's still pretty much 
when you ain't drinking mask up, which I did in Las Vegas, but it's just, you know, no, you get drunk, you have a good time. I just, the mask thing just, you know, I understand the importance of the mask, but I just feel like it would get in the way of my fun time. Like when I was in Vegas, it was okay, but it was just, it was just, okay, I put my mask back up, like, <sighs> I sure did low roller, I saw that article, yeah. All right, let's just see. Okay, I don't want to get this toad burnt, so I'm going to put this up. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, all right, I'm going to show you what this cauliflower looks like. We're going to tear a taste test. There she goes. Okay. So, yeah, I definitely need to get more cauliflower. Cause there's no way in hell this is gonna feed me for four days so but i'm probably gonna go and just do a repeat once i actually um, finish once i go shopping again i think we will be worrying for a long time and that's the thing but i'm like i'm gonna go do all these other things so here we go we got some cauliflower again i put a ton of seasoning in here onion powder garlic powder pepper and then we just toss we just put it in the um, air fryer let's give her a tasty tasty does mifflinburg have a bus no, they have a school bus. They have a school bus for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good like that. It gives it, like, I'm not a huge fan of just plain old cauliflower. I like raw cauliflower, but when it's cooked, I'm not like a super fan, but that's awesome. I would eat that up. It's probably much better for me than many things out there. <laughs> well, depends who you ask. If you ask my, some of my coworkers, vegetables are bad for you. And you, again, the guy that Bill that says I should be eating all steak and bacon. But I'm having another one. I'm gonna eat this whole thing standing here now, probably. But we also gotta try the cracked chicken then. Yeah, and then Josh is like, oh, I'm all seven stars. You can go to the Diamond Lounge and get preference, but you can't go to the seven stars lounge because everybody's seven stars. So it's like... And the little bit that I read, they still have the... If you're not actively eating or drinking, your mask is supposed to go back up. So I'm like... How Nazi are they getting with that? Like if you're just sitting there and like you're literally just trying to let things digest, the mask is on or can you just relax? I don't know. You know Josh said that's how it is in Pennsylvania. And they, when you're sitting at a table, it's fine. But yeah, I heard in uh, Illinois that that's how it is. Like so pretty much in between, if you're not, your mouth's not moving, you're wearing a mask. It's like, and I get it. It's going to be for a long time probably, but it's like until then, you know, I'm just kind of prioritizing the trips I definitely want to go on and then just, you know, not dealing with it. But now yeah, who knows, you know, hi, Lori, what's shaking, girl? We got about 11 minutes and we're going to check the crack. Chicken. Yeah. So I don't know. So it got about 12, yeah, 11 minutes, but I report back to me, Angel. I told Josh to go and report back to me. I'm like, it takes me four hours to get there. You can be there in like an hour, 15 minutes. I'm like, you go, you report back. So yeah, but like 10 minutes. What do you think, Kit? Do you want to say hi to everybody, Kit, while we wait? Ollie's over here on the guest chair next to me. Cat, what's up, buddy? How you doing? He's like, hi, everybody. You should do a YouTube experience. So that would be cool. Hi. How you doing? And then Ollie's over here. Ollie's like, yes. Ollie's like, I'm trying to sleep over here, everybody. I'm trying to freaking sleep. I know. 
rough. <laughs> That's Ollie's chair. Yeah, he's my sidekick over here. This is my chair. That's his chair. Uh, what do you think, Kit? Oh, and we got a notice from my landlord that you cannot have dogs. Absolutely no dogs. I'm like, what about the pussies? The pussies will be good. Say, so, Kit, we won't let him take you away. He can't take you away from us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kit's starting to fall. He's like, oh, Keeney, I'm going to fall over. Boop. <laughs> oh, I'll skeet. What? I'm excited to try this cracked chicken again. I've never done it. I've never had it before. And I followed the recipe, Nora. Right here is the recipe, Nora. I followed it, except the seasonings. I just kind of winged it. But, yeah. What's up, Wesley? Yeah, and if anyone's interested in getting this recipe, yeah, keto crack chicken. Google it. That's the picture. It's crack, and there's all your nutritionals. You, get, you even get some freaking vitamin C's up in there. It's three grams of carbs, so 43 grams of protein. It is not Nora's recipe, but Nora wanted to know if I was going to make it a Lotto King recipe where it turns out like a hot mess, or if I was actually going to follow the recipe. So, yeah. <sighs> Kit, man. Do we have... What are we drinking tonight, Kit? I have tequila over there. We got a bottle of tequila. We might be doing tequila tomorrow, but... We're not doing a book tomorrow night, but I do have some of the Wisconsin tickets. I was going to buy New York tickets, but I totally forgot. And then when we came back through, there were actually New Jersey tickets, which we could have did because... We were right at the tri-state area. My dad's pumping gas, which we thought we were in Port Jervis, New York, but the gas actually had like a New Jersey certification on it. And people were um, pumping the gas because in New Jersey, you can't pump your own gas. But like literally the guy's like, yeah, if you go back at that shed over there, that's New York. So I'm like, that's why that gas station was cheaper than all the other ones because they were in New Jersey, literally across the street, you're in New York. It was like, it's <laughs> It's freaking crazy. So I don't even know what tickets they actually had in there. I'm assuming New Jersey, probably, because they were physically in New Jersey by a couple feet. But... Ollie is wet. Oh, they're not wet. Um, Carl puts coconut oil on them to keep their fur going good. And it actually helps with fleas. It actually does a really good job controlling fleas. And coconut oil is, like, super cheap. Well, it's cheaper than that stuff. It's this stuff. It's organic MCT oil. Brain and body fuel. Crack chicken, Martin. It's coming up like six minutes. Six minutes. We'll check it. I want to make sure it's all the way done. You scraped your arm and your foot. Oh, no. Kind of like Kenny. Kenny did it in Vegas. Kenny's, Kenny's MG, or Mandalay Bay painting is almost healed. Slowly but surely. People put it in their coffee, I bet. You put it on all these skin, it works good. You're gonna keep the fleas away from you too. You're scared of cats? Don't know why. Yeah, Ollie and Ketter, they're good. Look at Kit, what? He's like, Kit over here, Keen. He's like, you pet my bitty. We have five minutes, Kit. We can turn this around again if you want to be like on the show. Okay, you're gonna make me fall. What? Oh no, the slick doormat. That's not good. Let's throw some. Ooh, look at guys. Look how good I am at the Borgata these days. Ten bonus slot dollars. How will I use it all? They used to be cool before MGM bought them. Yeah. Oh, I am. I'm gold status still there. I, I, I wonder if they extended my gold status. Probably. I have gold status from trading up at, or for trading up my diamond card. 
There, Kit, okay, let's throw this shit away. That's the notice about not having dogs, but you don't look like a dog, so you should be okay. What? I know the $10 slot dollars, Angel. They get that hand back over here, can <laughs> It's smelling like crack in here, kids. It's smelling like crack. Ooh, Angel. I got 40 bucks when I was in Boston, which I lost on freaking um, dancing drums. But then I put my own money in, and then it was still kind of meh. No, we're not continuing. Stop it. What am I doing, Lori? Recap. What did you do to this chicken? Well, it's going to be done in three minutes. I'll show it to you. It should be. We got, I started with chicken tenders. We put eight ounces of cream cheese, softened, um, eight ounces of mozzarella cheese, two scallions, finely sliced, one cup of bacon crumbles, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of dill weed, and one, table, one teaspoon of salt. That's it. Super, you know, three grams of cobs. Oh my gosh, Angel, you high roller, you. Cracked chicken. You give it a couple minutes here, I'll show you what the cracked chicken looks like. So we did the cauliflower, air fried, well seasoned, it's really good. How much have I missed? You missed the preparation. We're soon gonna give the reveal of the cracked chicken, but yeah, that's air fried cauliflower, well seasoned. Um, yeah. You had me on the cream cheese. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so let me see. Ooh, baby. Ooh, it smells delicious, but yeah. Whoa! Okay, you okay? You okay, can't, man. Calm down. You get in your butt. You get in the tibby. But I am splurging this month. Um, I am going to get... I'm getting new... Um, Pans for my stove because these are nasty. No, that was actually Kit. He is a sore on his back and sometimes he'll attack it himself. Yeah, that's just Kit. He does it to himself. And then he's fine. But he like starts chasing his tail. It's like, like oh, I always feel bad. Okay, crack chicken kids. It's got a minute. We're gonna let the minute go. But yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm working on slowly adding new cookware. We're going to get new pans. I buy these probably once every, like, it's probably been about a year I got these, which don't last long, but. Stuff, stuff, crazy bread? That sounds good. All hells, yeah. This is going to give me, like, maybe a day of cauliflower. <laughs> I might go buy, like, three more bags, because this stuff's cheap, too. And I might do more air fried. What do we got? It says a minute. A minute. Ooh, in a stream. Nice. The Wancho. 57. I'll start the countdown, kids. We're going to let it go all the way down. I want to make sure my chicken's nice and done. There are just little tenders, so I'm not super worried about them. I'm sure they're going to be plenty done because they're not that thick, but we don't want salmonella up in here with us. Do, 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 do. It's the final countdown. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. 
four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Okay, let's go get this bad boy out of here. See what she looks like. I think she looks pretty sexy from what I can tell, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Say, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Oh, I'll steam drop. Okay. Kenny's crack chicken galore. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, guys, that looks awesome. <laughs> Kenny's crack chicken. Oh, my gosh. The Kenny's crack chicken. It's crack. I'll zoom in on that bad boy so you guys can get up there. We're going to pull one of these out of here and just give her a good tasty tasty. Make sure she's done. But I'm fairly certain she is done. Uh, they said it's really creamy too. Because, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It kind of does look like the photo from the recipe. That's scary, OP. Oh, oh all my crack went off. All my crack fell off, kids. At least just give me a little crack to put on top for the taste test. Looks yummy, but it would be better without the onion. You can do it without the onion, yeah. Without the scallion, that would be to your preference. A side by side. All right, all right, all right. Let's see how the chicken is. Chicken's, oh yeah. Oh yeah, chicken's done. Tell him, Kit. Oh, yeah. That smells good. That's oh, cracked chicken. That's cauliflower. Bruh. 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 As Lower Lord would say, it's moist, it's creamy, it's tasty. There is a new low roller review, everyone. If you didn't see it, he's reviewing a Chick fil A sandwich. We ultimately will probably go watch it later. Mm hmm. That's good. It's really good, too, yeah. And that cream cheese really doesn't make sure. Yeah. I can. If you want to find it, I think you literally just look up keto crack chicken and you'll find the recipe on Google. I can find it for you again, but yeah, that's how I found it. Keto crack chicken. Yeah, that is pretty damn good. Pretty damn cracky. You could totally add more bacon, probably, as well. Mm-hmm. Two thumbs up on the cracked chicken. Served alongside that roasted cauliflower. Mmm. And, like, I'm not one of those people that has to have carbs, either. Like, I knew that some people are like that, but... So, like, I don't mind, like, not having as many carbs. Sometimes I just do carbs because it's, like, the easiest thing to do. But, you know, so. But, yeah. So, there you go. Crack chicken, kids. Yums. You know what? I never came over here and saw if I got any Pepsi. If I did. What's up, Kit? He's like, Carl's beating me over here. He thinks I'm getting treats. Is this what this is, Kit? He's trying to butter me up again. I got oh, treats. Okay. I get treats, Kenny. It's part of the rules. I'll get treats later. Aww. But later, Carl. That's so far away. Ooh, there's some Pepsi. We got Pepsi. What are we playing tonight? We're going to go back to the Wind Creek because they have a five times match promotion. You keep staring up at the fridge, bro. 
He's like, yeah, buddy, get it. That's right, damn right. Box of treats for life. Okay. Uh, oh, excuse me. The Lotto King mug with the sippy cup. What are we having tonight? I guess it's Fireball. Fireball and Pessy. I guess. I'm down with Fireball and Pessy. That chicken is just a chef, by the way. I'm giving you after effects. That taste is really good. Was not only good, it was the shit. Yeah, I might eat some of that tonight before I go to bed. Alright, let's go. Put some. Fill up our ice cube trays. We have ice for tomorrow. Ice, ice, baby. You're getting glitches? No, no. These things happen. What's up, Kenner? Ooh, ooh, no. <laughs> Stay. I just have water come down all over the place. God. I might do a drink with tequila tomorrow night. Hey, hey, please don't ever leave this alone with Josh again. I'm sorry. I know. Am I doing Max? I'm going over the online casino. You can't do Max because the online casino Maxes are several hundred dollars, James. So no. And I'm planning just a low roll just to waste some time tonight. So yeah, no Maxies from here, but. I do have $70, which we have to play through the 135 five times, so it'll keep us busy. Something to do. I figure 35 bucks is some good entertainment for a few hours. Okay. What do you think, Ollie? I mean, we have a beverage. I've got to do dishes when this is all said and done. Where is Josh? I don't know. You've won 50 bucks on a crossword? Nice. Very nice. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put a paper towel over this cauliflower until later. But yeah, i got to go get some more. We're going to be air frying some more cauliflower this weekend. That stuff is good. I wonder about even air broccoli. Or would broccoli be too... Um, I don't know. I don't know how broccoli would go. I like broccoli too, but broccoli has that really own flavor. Oh. Oh, look. Let's go over here. I don't even know if I still remember how to play skills. I'm going to go to skills tomorrow morning um, and actually... Um, Make a video for Sunday, but I don't know. I don't know how to play. I don't know how to play. Uh, wow, everyone's commenting on stuff. I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Oh, uh, let's go see what all these are. Let's go see what all my notifications are, then I'll slowly get my thing started. That was Lori. Paula. What's up, Paula? I wonder how it would be if you hit on Max. You win a lot of money because, again, Max is crazy on a lot of the games. Like, super and super crazy. 
<laughs> All right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let me get my thingy set up here. We'll go do this. Oh, I'm not signed into uh, YouTube's. <sighs> the Lotto King. That's me. But wait, that's me. I had to change my password again because if not... Josh will come in then and act like he's me and I don't appreciate that. So yeah, sorry. Sorry, Papa Josh. That's not how things work around here. Okay. All right, we're going live over there. We've got Ollie over here on my side. He's gonna help with the Cena. The Cena. Ah. We'll put Kenny up small up to the top. I just still got to see Ollie because he's in two. But all right. Let's get over here to the Wind Creek. Again, I didn't think I'd go back, but I just like the, the, the match offer. It's like, it's pretty good. An upgrade online storage. I do. I'm actually out of online storage because they actually back up, like, my freaking documents and downloads on my Mac and all the videos that I do go in the documents and they go in the downloads folder. So they keep saying I'm out of freaking iCloud space. I'm like, shit. What I'm planning to upgrade next probably is my MacBook because again, it's dying and I've had it for some years and I can't believe it hasn't died yet. But I really care because the Apple stock, well, you'll probably get some out of me. Um, but yeah, I want to get a new one eventually. I might splurge, but I'm still saving my pennies or if we get stim money. I would like to actually legit, I keep getting MacBook Airs because they're cheaper, but I would like to get a MacBook Pro, which do run like two grand to get a decent one. But if we get stimp money, that would be nice. <laughs> I'll help stim the economy. Just like Big D, we want the stim money. I'm not counting on it, but if they give me mines, I see exactly, I'll get the Pro for you. Especially since I'm gonna be going to Boston more, so potentially to do live streams up there, which is why I didn't this time. So yeah, that's on my game plan, possibly coming 2021. Yeah, that's an expensive purchase just to... Okay, let's get you out of there, because that looks weird. <laughs> let's put Kenny over here, oh wait. Let's go. But they split and have dividend reinvestment. <laughs> You're welcome, Robert. You're welcome. For you, I'll do it for you. Okay. So am I logged in? I am logged in. Perfect. Oh, kind of perfect. Not really. This is probably going to take a little adjustment, though, once we go live. But What's up, Paul? How you doing, bud? Hopefully the drugs are kicking in for you, Paul. Oh, that's right. Didn't you say earlier you they was doing it for you? <laughs> it was doing it for you? Uh, I got you to watch a little. Well, you told me about Low Roller's new video. <laughs> uh, we'll watch that tonight, too, at the end of the night when I run out of my buddies. All right. Wind Creek. Doing some pain, but doing good. I hope so, Paul. I hope that is it. Hmm. That sounds fun, Robert. Sounds like a blast. Okay. So let's put my stream key over there. We're going to stream over here. And then, yeah. And then I should be able to hit go. Oh, and we have things to talk about with Big D then, whether we do it today or tomorrow. He'll probably be calling in here in a little bit. But just just ask me then. So, how much money did Big D spend when you're in Boston? Nothing. But there's more to that story of Big D. But K 
catch me on the catch me on the next one and I'll talk. But I'm getting ready to start the next one. Thanks for joining me for the crack chicken. I'm actually gonna take a picture of that down. It actually does look like good food porn to that bacon and scallions on top. All right, well hey, I'll catch you. What's up? I sure am Danette. We're going over to the Wind Creek to do a little bit more online casino play. The crack chicken and cauliflower turned out awesome. If you want to go back and watch that, the reveal was only probably about 10 minutes or so back. Uh, yeah, you did miss the cooking, Paul. Yep, I'm all done. It's all over there. And now we're going to go do online casino. So if you want to come watch that, that's going to be the very next stream. So as soon as this one ends, I'm going to head start streaming and that one should pop up. So maybe see you over there. Thanks for joining. I know there was no notifications for anybody today, Paul. So boo. All right, let's go.